Good morning on there. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Uh, uh wait, hold up. Good morning. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, how many times I gotta say good morning? Hello, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Well, I mean, I've been speaking the whole time, but anyway, uh, Kevin, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, man, because you know why? You're so easy to figure out, and, and, and I and I appreciate you for being like that. But let, let me explain something to you, okay? Um, and I and I and I see how you treat certain people, and I see how you treat other people. And it seemed like, um, you know, like, just like your caller that told you about the money thing when they try to give money to prisoners. You don't notice how you said you're going to check into that, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me tell you something, uh, Kevin. I have an organization that's called One Latham Forensics Investigations and Law Enforcement Corporation. All right. And it's recognized by the Attorney General's office now. Okay. I don't. I don't think you knew that. But you know what I bring to the radio are things that happen to a lot of people in Montgomery, Alabama. And when I bring up certain crimes against myself and others, I do that. I bring it to the airways so that people can know. And on your broadcast, on your show, I've said many times that if people have a problem with the police, they should not go to internal affairs. They should not go to that new system that they have uh, called investigations, Montgomery City Investigations, because it's the same people from attorney affairs. And all they do is get your information and pick it apart and find a way to protect the city from getting sued. So what I bring, it's not personal. You and Mark Montiel continue to keep calling this personal. It's not personal. It's the fact that I have people out there that listen to you, listen to Mark Montiel, listen to other, broad, other shows that come out of a lot of places. And I love those people, just like I love you. I love Mark, but I know he hates my guts because he continues to lie on me, about me, and to me. Right, but is there a point to this? I, I got I to keep moving on, so what, what's the point here, though? Okay, the point is, Kevin, you continue to lie to my face, to the public about me. You keep trying to say everything I bring up is personal. Dennis, your name, your name didn't come up today at all. No, I'm talking from yesterday, Kevin. I'm trying to bring criminal activity to the to the front so the people of, of, who listen to you who live in Montgomery and the surrounding areas could know what was going on. That's the same reason Mark Montiel lied and there wouldn't let me put the, put the mayor on the spot. Well, that's, that's between you, Montiel, and the mayor, though. I, you know, I, not much I can do about that. I, I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just showing the people how you all are. Okay. And the same thing with you. You continue. I bring up, you said yesterday, I'm the only one who's complaining. First of all, I'm not complaining. I don't complain because I don't have a right to complain because God is my father. Okay? Okay. Well, why are you complaining then? But the point is you continue to say the crimes I bring up are personal. They're not. I'm trying to explain to the people and show the people what's going on around them. Okay. And, and that's why I explain to them how you support white supremacy and you cover up white crimes. And you asked a crazy question last night. The, the guy from the guy from municipal court that was arrested, you you were slow poking around. You you had the nerve to ask, was this in Montgomery? Well, I, ne I hadn't heard about it. But you didn't read it. You didn't read it either. No, I hadn't hadn't seen well, anything. About you know that's the thing. See, somebody posts a picture of a white person that's doing a crime. You ignore it. You didn't even read the story. It would have told you it was in Montgomery. Well, if somebody posts a picture of a black guy doing a crime. Want to make sure they did the crime before okay, we. Well, that was with it. I must have missed my my Facebook page because I if I saw well, the you description. Were, you were talking on the post, Kevin. If I saw the description, did it? I got more important things to worry about. Some crook downtown the courthouse. Okay, okay, you okay? See, you just did it right there. You just flip flop. You don't care about that because of the white person who's been ripping off black people because it's majority of the people down in the court, uh, down in municipal court, are black. That's why you don't care about it, and I'm glad you're admitting to it now. Boy, you know, you must get one hell of a discriminator because you heard things that didn't even come out of my mouth. You are psychic. You just got through saying you don't care what goes on down there. but I paid No, I said I didn't care about a crook down there. Okay, you don't care about a crook down there. No. You don't care about someone who works behind the counter 
at municipal court who's a crook. Well, that's what we pay Ken Nixon for, the police chief and the mayor and all those folks down there to worry about those kinds of things. They know, I'm not an elected official. Okay, okay, I don't, I don't okay. get paid to worry about that kind of thing. Okay, you pay, yeah. that's what you pay them for. Yes. So why is it that you all talk about what happens over at ASU then? Why is it that you I, I haven't about? I haven't mentioned ASU in, in a while. But you have. Well, sure. I also mentioned the Germans. I've also mentioned the Jewish people. I don't live there. I mentioned Christmas. I wasn't here when it got started either. And you also purposely cover up white criminal activity. Well, I, I mean, I don't agree with that, but everybody's entitled to their opinion. Okay. That's yours. Well, hey, look, I appreciate both of you and Mike Montiel because I, both of you, I can figure it out because, first of all, and lastly, yes. I don't go by what's on the outside. I go by what comes out of your mouth and your actions. That tells me everything about now, your Now, just before I let you go, we, we can pretty much judge you the same way, right, by what comes out of your mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. because I don't lie. I, I'm, I'm just saying as long as we can all judge each other by the same criteria, that's, that's fine. All righty then. Can you believe early in this morning I have had the whole conversation like this?